evening YouTube viewers and subscribers. I have my recently acquired YS F120 engine here and I'm going to begin to look inside so I'm going to begin disassembling this engine. Because of the complex or slightly more complex nature of this engine I'm probably going to be taking a little bit more time, a little, go a little bit slower. Uh, there'll be more screws here that I'm not familiar with the links and everything so I'll probably bag things separately while I'm taking things apart. So just be advised that there could be a few more uh, parts to this look inside for this particular engine because this is like I said a slightly more complex engine than I've had before. I want to make sure I visually note very well the parts that I'm taking apart where they go and that type of thing. So without further ado Let's begin by removing this valve cover, which is an interesting piece, and don't mind me if I babble on. I tend to just babble a bit. This is interesting because it didn't just to cover it, you know, it has this flared out area, almost like a fire fireman's hat. <clears throat> and if you'll have to excuse me, I think I'm coming down with something too. So here's our valve cover and it looks like there is a gasket on it which I'm not going to disturb. I'm going to go ahead and just put that cover and a screw that fell out right there. So here's our rockers. Looks pretty clean up there. Uh, looks like there's actually one, two, three, four, five head screws so it almost looks like I can remove the head without taking the rockers off and these rockers are just held on with e-clips. Uh, you know what, let me let me get a couple of smaller screwdrivers. I will just go ahead and start kind of from the top down removing things here. Let me get my magnet. First D clip came off, it doesn't look like it's damaged. That means I might be able to just push. Looks like there is a set screw up there though, so let's pull up the set screw here. Okay, that was close. I haven't done any heating oiling or anything to this engine. Everything I've done to this engine you're actually seeing done right now for the first time. So I might end up having to oil and heat some things here because that pin doesn't look like it wants to come out. You know what? Uh, <clears throat> I think I'm going to hold off on that right now. We'll just move on to see if I can get these head screws out. Like I said, I haven't heated anything, so I'm just going to kind of gently see if they want to move. And if they feel like they want to move, then we'll take them out. So far, so good. Otherwise, if they don't feel like they want to move, I'm going to go throw some oil on here and heat these things up. I guess I could have removed it glow plug but I didn't actually you know what I think I want to remove that glow plug before I get the head off it will make it a lot easier I know ordinarily I'll remove this plug and then kind of look inside there and see if I can see what the top of the piston looks like but in this instance I didn't do that it's pretty recessed in there I don't know that I'm going to be able to see anything. Now I could be the first person opening this engine. I don't know that. No way I'll know for sure, but... Screws are out. You know what? I think I'm going to put each one of them in just to, to 
turn or two because I need to pull this carb pull this carb off or the intake manifold off at least. Now it looks like the intake manifold isn't held on with any screws obviously so pulling it out isn't going to work so this whole back end of the carb is going to have to come off. I should have looked at that and realized that first but that's all part of the learning process. Weird. This, these screws are a different size, and it's just the four screws. Uh, there's a screw here too. I'm not sure if that hole goes all the way through, and it's really securing this back cover on or not. So we'll see what happens here. I really don't expect these gaskets to survive. This engine could be up to 17 years old, so. Looks like these two screws <coughs> go all the way through and they're backplate screws. These are backplate screws, so I'm going to have to take these two out, these two, just to get the back cover off. And I'm not sure about that one yet. We'll see if this is enough to free up just this back cover. I really don't want to take the backplate off yet. So maybe that screw is actually holding something in place here. Maybe it's just another cover screw. And it's considerably shorter. That's one of the reasons I want to kind of take my time here. Okay, I'm going to set the engine aside for a second here. <coughs> All right. So this gasket did not disintegrate. Uh, it could be a good or a bad thing because I really plan on you know, buying all new gaskets and I'd like to soak this stuff and really clean it up. However, this gasket still looks like it's in decent shape and if I choose not to soak it because the LA is totally awesome cleaner that I, I clean these parts in will totally destroy that gasket. So this is kind of one of those things I've got decisions to make here. Now that's interesting. If you look at this, the O-ring seal and this intake manifold, the color of these O-rings kind of looks like maybe they're Viton, some kind of high temp uh, seal, and that's a double O-ring seal, which is nice. So hopefully you'll never see anybody putting freaking silicone around that. With a double seal like that, it should seal up really good. You know what? For right now, I'm just going to set this thing aside. I'm not going to do anything else with the carb. I'm going to put these screws. You know what? I could have taken that thing off because that screw goes right here. I'm going to put the screw gently back in here. I didn't realize there, that hole was big enough. <clears throat> it was just the gasket holding it in place. So I'm going to just put these screws right back in here, set this aside, and continue removing the head now. So that we can try and determine how much runtime this engine has, or at least guess, as I always like to try to do. Okay, well, look at that. Not sure if these things are symmetrical or anything yet, so I just want to kind of pull them off and put them off to the side and not disturb anything. Okay, so this engine appears to have some runtime. Uh, in other videos, I've always mentioned that looking at the top of the piston, you can tell approximately how much runtime it's got because this engine operates so differently. I'm not really sure that tells me much there at all other than it has been run pretty good and me just kind of doing a quick wipe is not really cleaning that at all so if this was just an ordinary engine I would say well this has got several gallons through it and it may I mean it, it totally could have several gallons through it um, 
let's do the reveal on the head here. Let's drop these screws out, make sure they all look like they're the same length. So they are, all the head screws are the same length. Well, here's the reveal on the valves. The valves appear to be the same size, and there's runtime. So, I'm probably going to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to use LA's Totally Awesome Cleaner on this, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my ultrasonic cleaner. I haven't really used it much before, but I think in this instance, uh, I want to see how much better that will work to clean this engine up. So I'm going to use my ultrasonic cleaner. It's probably going to take several soakings or runs. I don't want to get these O-rings out of here. I don't know how that LA's plays. If it plays nicely with rubber or not. So anyway, there's the reveal on the head. I'm probably going to have to put some oil on this. Heat this up a hair. Because that pin just doesn't feel like it wants to just come right out. I want to completely disassemble this engine. That's a really large set screw. Let's see. Probably should have taken this C-clip off while I still had it on the 